Welcome to 2141 West Belmont, right in Roscoe Village. I can't wait to show you this. We're standing in 2141 West Belmont, top floor, penthouse unit. We're in Roscoe Village, Lakeview, depending on who you ask. I really like this kitchen. One of the things I really like that I haven't seen many times are these two offset lights. Most of the time you would have one, two, three, or one and two, and instead we have these right here. And the style of them is very mid-century modern without being a little too much to bring you right back into that era, right? We're tying in with the time that we are in 2023. And as we look, you can also see the two-tone cabinetry here, or excuse me, two-tone countertops here, two-tone cabinetry there. And then I love the shelves above here with the two pendants on each side, really tying into that mid-century modern theme. We have great appliances. And not only do you have this here, I love the stainless finish, by the way. Thermador started doing this. It's all metal, all inside, all cool, all the right way to do it. And you also have, check this out, also have soft clothes on the drawers. Like, of course you have it on the door, but you have it here as well, so you're not gonna be slamming the doors. Now, in addition to that, we have, what you don't always get, Thermador. Espresso maker, coffee maker, cappuccino maker, whatever you want. Speed oven right here, plus your normal oven right there. Full burners here, integrated vent, tastefully done, and tons of storage. Do you see how big these cabinets are? How deep they are? This one's kind of fun, right? It's right here in the middle. You have this one underneath here, ones that open up over here. You have more storage than you'll ever need. You have ones up here too. I mean, oh, and of course, the pantry. You always want to be able to fit about an arm in here. It's nice to have these different things. Now, you'll notice that we have the kitchen in the back and a lot of homes, you'll see the kitchen in the front. I think this is a more sensible design. You're gonna be coming from the garage oftentimes and you're gonna to wanna to come up these stairs, come through this way instead of going through the front so you can bring everything right through. Notice the European doors, notice the European windows. Come over here. Open like so. Vents like so. You're seeing these almost everywhere now. And in the front, I'm gonna show you, they put the grids as well. We have this big family room back here. You can hang out, drop your little kids' boots right there. Lots of different things you can do. Integrated fireplace in the back, but I love how open and spacious this feels. So we're in this room and we have, we have 18 feet here on the width, but it feels way wider for whatever reason. I don't know if it's because this whole section is open. Notice the fine details here. You see this paneling right here, lights coming down, and then notice it over here with the light switch hidden in for the light that you're gonna put right there. I really like this table too, because you always want a breakfast area, you want a place to sit, kind of hang out, that isn't so, so you're not eating over the coffee table, not something over there, something over here where you can sit, talk in the morning, talk in the evening, have something that's a little casual while still having that little bit of formality that you want in life. Let's look at more. Office right here to the side, French doors are perfect, so you can hear the sound throughout when you want it, but also close them. Good kids' room if you need it. And then coming through here, we have a full bath on this level. So if you needed to use that as a bedroom, you have a full bath to work with. Notice no thresholds, completely even here. And completely even coming through here. These are pre-cut trusses that you don't have to deal with any of the carpentry when you get them. That's the level of planning that we're talking about. Notice countertop here. I'm not sure what material this is, but I like it. It has like a concrete feel with, while not being as harsh as concrete. Notice the low level backsplash through here, but raising in the rear and then picking it up with the wood right behind the mirror. All of these elements are very well thought of. All Kohler fixtures throughout this entire property and then the double shower niches here. You have the gloss finished tiles here, matte finish on the bottom, everything carving right to the front. And then you'll notice too, we have two panel doors painted black with some of the trim painted black. I'm gonna come back to that. But then notice this hardware. It's brushed brass and you can't see what I see or you can't feel what I feel, but this is strong. It feels like good hardware. A lot of times you'll touch a doorknob or you'll touch a door itself and you're like, what is this thing? 
why, who, who would ever buy this? Because it was 12 bucks. These are not $12. So coat closet right in the front, already organized, ready to go. Notice too, you have outlets and low voltage up there. So you can put your rack or put your router, put your motor, put the different things that you want to hide out of the way, but still have easy access to. Now I was talking about the trim. Notice that you have two different trim colors. Switch places with me. You have two different trim colors right here. And you have the same trim here. So you have a different vibe in this front room that's giving you kind of two different layers to the house. When you're over here, you have this kind of charcoal color that's working into the space. You have a butler's pantry right here, or a dry bar right here with storage underneath. Nice light above that's sticking out without obstructing into the space, without taking up actual room. Great dining room setup. Very interesting staging decision here. We have a double wide dining room table showing you exactly how much space you can work with while still having a great sofa set over here. And in the rear, I was talking about how big this home feels, and this is part of the reason. TV on that wall should you choose, and these are the grid windows right in the front, very open, and we are on Belmont, but I mean, here. The sound is really good. Let's take a look upstairs. Before we do that, come here. Back up. Okay, do you see, these are called the risers and these are called the treads. Riser, tread, usually these are painted white. They are not this expensive white oak that's used here. Now look over here. Do you see how this zigzags and goes at a slight angle going up? I can't remember the last time I saw stairs like this, if I ever have. This is a small detail that you wanna pay attention to. These are the small things that craftsmen do. Craftsmen are a dying breed nowadays. People wanna go into tech. They don't wanna go into carpentry, even though we need more trades and get in the trades. Like who's gonna run and operate and fix our homes later? I, it's an issue I think about it late, late at night sometimes. So, but think about how modern this is. It has a nice touch while still tying in to that mid-century vibe that we have throughout. Let's go upstairs now. We're out on Belmont. This is the second level. We're in the front. It's 4 p.m. There is next to no noise here. I know some people are apprehensive about living on a main street. On a main street, you get better zoning. Therefore, you get bigger units. So you get things you're never going to find on a side street. That's why you should consider a home like this. Now, look at the black details here. We have a black gutter. We have black lights, black grid windows. These look elegant, tasteful, very well done. And look at all the space you have off this what is this, your office, your entertaining area, your kids' room? This is just a bonus space that you rarely, if ever, get. This is reason alone to consider this in a wet bar right here. I love the bar sink, love that you have the fridge. I love these countertops. We didn't talk about this downstairs. This is a matte finish. Kind of, it's greenish, grayish, charcoalish. It ties together really well. I love this funky light that we have here again, offset a little bit to open up the space. We're looking west right now, so this way is west. You can see the sun shining through a little bit through the clouds right here, but these windows are a great way to open up the room. And we'll be working with on ceiling height here. Nine two. So a little bigger than you're used to seeing, right? Usually it'd be about nine feet. We have extra two inches, which you feel and pick up. We're talking about these countertops. You notice the low profile backsplash? I liked it. It's cool. It's clean. Another good size bedroom here. I like these baths. So let's talk about this. This is granite. But when I see granite, I think of 2000s, Verde, Butterfly, all these strange colors that you've seen everywhere that have really just become passe. When you see them, it feels old. This is better than any quartz I've looked at. This is better than most marble. This is a really high quality stone. And then you have these wider tiles. I love how wide these are. I should really know how wide this thing is. I think it's about four inches, but these are over four inches or about four inches, maybe five, maybe, I don't know, we'll find out. And probably a foot long, vertically stacked, very clean, space for all your products down below. And I love the gold, and gold can be overdone sometimes, but these are tying together really well and it's Kohler, so they mastered the look of the gold. They have the brushed just right to fit into your home. We have mechanicals here. So I know that because of these vents, by the way, a little extra knowledge right there. Another bedroom right here. 
And then as we're going back, we're getting all the way to the primary suite and then we're gonna show you the rooftop above. We were up there when we started this video. Now, when we come here, really good room. Notice too, I'm not going to the window. I didn't go to the back of the window there. We're 1310 by 1210, very sizable space. And keep in mind, this isn't included in that measurement. And this is not included in that measurement. So we have a feature wall on the back, two windows flanking on each side, balcony access. Check this out. I've never seen this before. So these European windows and doors are becoming very popular here. This one slides out just like so. That I've seen. Look at this. It's cool. Pocket door, maximizing your space, keeping it clean through and through. Notice the even threshold here like we talked about downstairs. Plumbing on the wall, maximizing the space, very clean look, full soaking tub, dual vanities here, and then you have the shining glass, the sliding glass for your shower. And notice that, I was, I was concerned it might bump the glass, but no, no bump. Illuminated niche here, trench drain right there, handheld, overhead, right head, light above too. I like how they dropped this ceiling a little bit. So they brought the tile down and it finishes off just above the shower. Switch places with me. And then the tile continues all the way through here and then you have a light right over your tub, past the windows. It's a really good look. Let's go sit. Then we have the doghouse. That's what you call these rooms. That's what, that's the name they got over time. I'm not quite sure why or how. I'd love to know that story if you know. Just a place to entertain and hang out because your main party, your main elements. So we're facing south that way. We got Belmont right behind me. We have water, gas, low voltage, everything out here. This will be finished when you go under contract. What a great space. It's nice open so you can peer out, see the street, feel the openness of it. If you want to see this or anything in Chicago, I can't wait to show it to you. I want to represent you in your sale. You want the best marketing, the best agent, contact me.